You know Javi Garcia? Used to play shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? That's who we're looking for? Yeah, that Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horse shit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical center. We go yeah, in, we get L, we get Kate and Gabe, we get out. Right. What about our friends there? Doesn't exactly look like a welcoming committee. Damn it. We need a distraction. How's your throwing arm? What the hell was that? Let's check it out. You go first. Still got it. Find Elle. Tell her we have to move, Kate. You got it. I'll meet you here. Leave game. Now. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Javi! Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna go meet up with him. Excuse me? David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go. Wait, Javi? While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble. Like he was no longer in charge. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. Joan's been running this place behind David's back. She's pulling the strings. What do you mean? The people who shot you? Answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you know this already. This is not our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now, the whole place is about to become a war zone. What? What do you mean? The only thing I care about is keeping you safe. Then you know we can't get involved. What's going on? Tripp said we had to move to David's house. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? What about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he won't know where we are. Again! I can't go back to how things were before. I'm sorry. I just can't. I'm sorry, Gabe. But we have to get out of here. If we're leaving, I've got to get some things for the road. All my stuff is stashed in the room they gave me. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Sounds good. <laughs> Gabe, come help. I got it. Come on, buddy. I'm not going, Javi. What? I'm gonna find my dad. I have to. Okay, buddy. I respect that. Thank you. 
Gabe, no. Kate? No. Please, Gabe. Please. I never thought I could be a mom. I never thought I wanted to be a mom. Until I met you and your sister. I'm begging you, don't do this. It's my dad, Kate. I can't lose him again. And I can't lose you. Kate, come on. We have to respect his decision. I can't. Look at me, Gabe. Please. It's his father, Kate. It's what he wants. And this is what you want. What we want. We got so close in the last few years. I... I thought Gabe would want to stay with us. I really saw him as my kid. I guess he didn't feel the same way. You can't take it personally. Gabe just misses his dad. I get that. It's just hard to say goodbye. I'd hold it there, folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I'd talk fast. Fast and clear. Easy now. We were just on our way out. That's him, right? The brother? Thought so. Bring him in. Kate, run! I don't like your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. What's this? They were trying to leave. Him and his lady friend. Leave? I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe, not tuck your tail and run. Were you really gonna desert me when I needed you most? <laughs> Great. Good to know you've got my back. Where are they now? Girl got away. No sign of the kid. We'll deal with this later. And despite what we all agreed, you smuggled your brother back into Richmond. What happened to you, David? It hurts me to see you betray your own people. You've got some damn nerve. We used to be so close. Now I hardly know who you are. He didn't betray anyone, Joan. He risked coming back to help Richmond. Help it? By exposing you. What are you people talking about? So this is your play? First you accuse Badger, then you come after me. Would someone please explain what's going on? I can. Lonnie? Go ahead, Lonnie. Tell us. They attacked us. Murdered Max and Badger. You son of a bitch. They would have got me too. But I was lucky. We did you a favor. Those bastards deserve to die. What? Those are our people you're talking about. They were attacking other settlements, killing and looting on Joan's orders. Is that true, Joan? <laughs> it's nothing but a smoke screen. A pretty damn transparent one, if you ask me. Lonnie, please tell me this isn't true. We did that. Raided those communities. Hurt those people. 
Because David told us to. Not Joan. I'm sorry, David. I can't do this anymore. I can't hurt anyone else. This is wrong. I am asking you, please, tell them the truth. This is bullshit. He's covering for Joan. David, just stop. We knew this couldn't last forever. We confronted him. Me, Badger, and Max. We were done. We let him know. He said he didn't need us anymore. Not with his brother here now. That's when he... That's when Badger and Max... That's enough! David, stop! Paul, you have to stop her. Or the blood from those raids, it's on your hands. Don't let Joan get away with this. Paul! She's working you like a puppet, man. Can't you see that? Don't let yourself get played into doing something you regret. Maybe we should sleep on this. Give everyone some time to cool down. No. Don't try and drag him into your mess. The things you've done, they're an assault on what we built here. You and your brother, you're going to have to answer for them. I still have friends here. Allies. This won't stand. You brought this on yourself, David. I'm sorry to say it, but you're done here. They were our family, David. How could you? I'll give you family! Strike one! I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. I, I watch you play all the time. Not now, kid. Don't disappoint your fans. No, this is supposed to be quality family time. I'm glad they kicked you out. You were saying? Uh, you can wait. I gotta focus on not embarrassing myself in front of the big baseball star. Right now, I've hit no balls. I know I can do better. I think you mean former baseball star? If you got people bugging you in public, you're a star. 
Yeah, that part's pretty cool. Must be nice. Swing and a miss! You don't have to start sucking because of me. Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah, you should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch! Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, I'd avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. You could have pretended to try. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. But I do. And I'm good at it. Ow! Fuck! You gotta shut up! Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Garcia takes one for the team. That's gotta hurt. God damn it, Javi. I fucking warned you. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Whew! Thought I'd lost my touch. Oh, please. I'm done. David. You're leaving already? You said you were happy, so I'm done here. Come on, I thought we'd hang out all day. I'm not gonna spend all day as your cheerleader. You're a grown-up, and I've had enough. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You've always been looking out for yourself. You tried to help me, yet yeah, let me help you. You really want to help? All right, drive me down to the recruitment office next week. The army? My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Last time you deployed, you didn't have kids. So whatever you do now, you got to put them first. I am putting them first. That's why I have to leave. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. <sighs> My mom and dad will worry themselves sick. You didn't see how stressed they got last time you deployed. Life's hard for everybody, Javi. Except you. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind. I'll be there for them, since you won't. If you want to go, you should go. <sighs> Thank you. I really mean it. We good? Yeah, we good. Come on, let's get out of here. Buy your beer. Get in there, you two. Joan's gonna figure out what to do with you. She's making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you murdered Lonnie. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them and that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this, but you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. I'll... I'll see what I can do. What, you're gonna choose that witch over me now? Better start leaning on your brother, Javi. He needs to get with the program. 
You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. After I brought you in, after I saved your asses, this is how you treat me. Betrayal? Vi David, I'm not your enemy. We have to figure out what to do about Joan. Joan's betrayal wasn't as bad as yours, little brother. You have any understanding of what they're doing to me? I'm being set up, and I don't even want to think about what they'll do when they find Kate. I could have found a way to protect all of you, but now? Now you're all on your own. You gotta still have some friends here, right? I thought Lonnie was a friend. He turned on me. And you shot him. Any friends you haven't killed, haven't killed you yet. It's everyone out for themselves these days. We wouldn't be in this situation if you paid attention to what Joan was up to. I did my best. I have always done my best. Can't say I never tried. I have always given 100%. I know, David. No one's tried harder than you. You've never given up on what you believe. Never. The problem is, I don't know what to do now. There's no way out of this. They got us boxed in here, literally. We don't know what they're planning, so we just have to get ready. Take the opportunities as they come. Just like pitches. Right, Javi? Exactly like pitches. Well, now. You two seem ready for anything. Armed escort? You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not gonna be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion. Between us. You've got the guns. You set the terms. I'm glad you're willing to work with me. Eh, people had concerns about me coming here after the way you murdered Lonnie, David. But I know what the real danger here is. And you need to hear about it. If you know there's trouble out there, just tell us. I'm getting to it. Those raids were unfortunate, but necessary. The real danger was another long winter I should have been told about this. David, you remember how many friends we lost last year. I couldn't bear to see it happen again. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. David deserves a fair shot. He doesn't need to be replaced. If he was as good as you say, he wouldn't be in this position, would he? You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. We'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions in private. Bring him with us. Screw this. Gotta get out of here. No time to rest.
That doesn't look very sturdy. Hmm. I'm not gonna get up there from this bench. Nothing useful here. Could squeeze through there. That's not gonna work. I wasn't sure how I was going to find you. Then I heard the glass breaking. You're alive. For now, you escaped the guards. Barely. We gotta get you out of here. Take this. Help me pry these bars off. <clears throat> Shit. Give it a push from your side. Thanks, Kate. Now, give me a hand. What's all that noise? It's a herd. They've got this place surrounded. Come on. This way. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. Gabe's there with the others. We've been hiding out there. For as long as we can, anyway. Is Gabe all right? He'd rather be charging in to save David right now. But I convinced him to be cautious. We should probably keep moving. Where are the patrols? Oh, they're around. I had some close calls on my way to find you. Almost got caught. But I got lucky. You must be feeling better if you're sneaking around like this. I'm not, really. But I'll get my rest when we're safe. All clear. Come on. I saw them take David from the quarantine building. Yeah. How's he doing? I can't be his wife anymore. He doesn't deserve to be locked away. He feels betrayed by everyone. You, me, his people. I wish it didn't have to be this way. Hold up. I 
think it's clear. Let's move. Okay, lead the way. before they find the room empty and sound the alarm. I think they want me more than you. If they spot us, don't be afraid to leave me behind. That's not going to happen. That's Eleanor's place. There's a lot of activity all of a sudden. I don't like this. Come on. Let's get inside. Hey, buddy. It's good to see you, Avi. Really, your goofy face and everything. I didn't expect to find you here. I mean, Kate said you were here, but I thought... I went looking for my dad, but I couldn't find him. I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, <clears throat> where have you been? You guys need some time, or...? No, it's cool. It's fine. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. What do we do? Joan lied. She's trying to remove David from power. Told you we couldn't trust him. I want to go save my dad. Right now. He needs our help. We need a plan first. Javi. Make sure it's the way to go. Good. The last time you scrapped the plan and got yourself caught. Fair enough. So we gotta make sure we don't screw this up. Have you guys even looked out the window? 
Go look for yourself. Oh. Holy shit. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Wow. As much as I don't want to be here... You sure are glad we didn't stumble into that on our own? <sighs> Fuck. Yeah. Can you imagine? We dodged a bullet, didn't we? Yeah. I think we got luckier than I even want to think about right now. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. That the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. We'll need to make sure we can defend ourselves. No matter what we do next, okay? Defend? That's all you're doing? I don't want to risk us losing anybody else. But you don't seem to mind that. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. I can take us. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but... I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. I don't really want to get involved. I get that. There's not really anybody else I can talk to. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just, I don't know what to do. Just follow your heart. That's all any of us have left anymore, right? Thanks, man. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on. Good luck. Stay alert. Be careful. You'll be fine. Okay. This'll be great. We got this. Slow down, buddy. I've done this before, Avi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? What do you mean, Avi? Just be careful. People aren't muertos. They can shoot at you. I know. Then you know to be quiet and stay hidden. So, we stay hidden and quiet? If we could just slip past quietly, It'll make our job a lot easier. Okay. We don't want to make any noise and attract any attention. Hey, I can go talk to him while you sneak inside. I'll distract him. He won't do anything to me. I'll tell him I saw something suspicious. It's a good idea, Gabe. I, I can do this. Hey! Oh, hey. I saw something. Show me.
<sighs> Told you it would work. Good work, buddy. It's down here. The guns are through that door. Locked. No time to look for a key either. Have to do this the hard way. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle nephew one two punch. Yeah, we do. Drop it. What the hell are you doing here? What are you doing with all that? Trying to help. I know you're pissed at me, but I want to do the right thing. For your brother. For him, for the rest of my family, for everyone. Yeah. It was a shit thing to do, fucking off on me like that. I know. I... Why didn't you meet me at the stronghold? We had a plan. I was just trying to keep Kate safe. That was the only thing I was thinking about. Fair enough. I get that. But why should I trust you now? As far as I can tell, you're nothing but trouble. Yeah. We need you. A lot more than you need us, I know, but we need you. That's about the most pathetic plea I've ever heard. <laughs> you're lucky I've got a thing for underdogs. Okay. You know I'm in. And it looks like you could use all the help you can get. Awesome. I gotta grab something else real quick. Meet me by the front at five. Okay. Get away from me! Javi, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god! Not dead yet. I'm so sorry. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. 
Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Looking for something? Sort of. I know this looks bad, but it's not like... It's not like what? I'm just here to talk to Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually. In much worse conditions. You'll be fine. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem. Are you okay? I'm fine. I started... bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. It means you're growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Cody? Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. No thanks. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. <sighs> Just pills. Here we go. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. <sighs> oh, 
Wake up. Talk to me. Wow. That guy is really out of it. <sighs> Wake up. Talk to me. Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard. Dr. Lingard. Can you hear me? <sighs> Does he look like he can hear you? This is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. Think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Jane said I was more of a mom than she'd ever be. 